Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. Here we are in Gunma Ota. We're going to hit up the Super Book Off Bazaar in another In the Hunt episode. So look at this mass building. Now this is actually a high volume store and it's actually really, really busy. But let's, without further ado, let's just go inside. And the first thing we see is 50% off. Now these are all the same game, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Game Gear. And you know, that comes out to about 450 yen, not too bad. And, be, and before we start digging in the carts here, let's go ahead and do my plug here, which is Retro Rewire Game Tours. If you're gonna be coming to Japan, if you wanna save time, potentially save money, find what you're looking for, get a hold of me on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description. Send me a message and book your tour. And it's not just Akihabara, it's other areas of Japan. So just mem remember, drop me a line and we're gonna test, we're gonna hunt, and we'll have a great time. Now back to the episode at hand, 50% off here, 1,500, that comes to about what, 750 yen. And actually th that's a so-so deal, but look at what I have here. I have Super Street Fighter 2, 50% off. Now I bought this, but like a fool, I didn't actually check the, fi the fine print and it was missing the manual. But this Mega Man and Forte, 50% off, that's actually a really good deal. And I also picked that up. I also got a uh, Street Fighter 2 on the Super Famic Famicom Complete. The original price was 450 and with the 50% off, it was like 200 and some odd yen. Here we have Kirby's uh, Superstar All-Star Business. We got X3 for 50% off as well. That's not too bad of a deal. A little bit sun faded that cover. And then here we have uh, Smash, the original. And, and some of these, you know, some of these are so-so deals. We have, uh, what is this, Twin B? I think that's a pretty good deal and it looks like uh, the torn label is why it's 50% off. Then we have 007 here for 50% off. And there's just small little cosmetic issues and that's why they're, you know, discounted. Now this one's at 30% off the original Xbox One. That thing is freaking massive, but still I do like the design on that. And there was just all sorts of random stuff here. They even have memory cards, but I believe the memory cards weren't actually uh, discounted. At least that's what was, uh, that was my understanding. But here we have some PlayStation Vita cards from eight gigabytes all the way up to 32 gig. I didn't see the 64 gig, but the 32 is coming in at 3,600 yen before sales tax. And then we have the Mickey CRT TV. That thing's actually pretty cool looking. And let's make our way into the showcase here. Always nice to see this stuff. And look at these beautiful 2DS systems. I really love this blue one with the, with the Super Famicom buttons. And these two are actually not bad either. I definitely love the, the look of that. I'm not the biggest fan of the 2DS shape, but I do love the colors there. We got some uh, Game Boy Pocket, your standard Game Boy, and then various uh, DS systems there. There's also a Game Boy Advance SP. Then we got some Famicom business. Look at that one with the by Capcom. I think that's, uh, is that Tiger's Road? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not really familiar with that one, but we have Mickey's uh, Adventure 3 for 7,200 yen. And they all have a little bit of issues because they're all discounted. So there's various things, either missing the manual, uh, some damage, some dirt sun fading we got our amiibos here and uh what's that some of them are pretty pricey coming in just shy of uh, eight thousand yen we have the game and watch and then we have a wonder swan this is just the standard one coming in at three thousand nine hundred and eighty yen and then we have a psp we have the pink one here coming in at six thousand three hundred and forty six yen that's kind of an odd price there and then we have a two thousand uh what is this like a light purple and then we have the pikachu in n64 for 20,000 yen now i believe it is missing the box and that sticker there has seen better days but not too bad of a price i suppose and then we have the purple one now this thing i really want this atomic purple 8,619 yen but it is missing the little lid there to the expansion bay and it doesn't have the original controller we have a mega drive 2 a couple of wii u systems and then we have a twin Famicom for 9,800. And then we have the Sanyo 3DO with the matching controller, but there is no box. 27,273 yen. That thing is pretty cool looking. And then we have the top loader Famicom for 7,255 yen. That is discolored. A little bit sun faded there. And then we have a pair of GameCubes coming in at 4,528 yen. And that, that purple and the, the orange do look, uh, they, lo they look awesome together. Now up at the top, there was uh, two Fantastic N64s and those were just shy of 15,000 yen. And as you can see in the showcase, just loaded with all things uh, Nintendo Switch. And then we have an Egret Mini uh, 2 console down below, which we'll have a brief look at. 
But we got this Monster Hunter Switch here coming at and coming in at 19,982 yen. What else do we have here? Various Joy-Cons, controllers, a uh, clone system back there, and then we have the Switch Lite for 12,710 yen. And then here we have our Egret 2 Mini by Taito. Haven't messed with this bad boy, but 33,000. Look at that. Definitely, uh, that one has held its value. The other ones have kind of dropped down in price, but that one is uh, hanging on strong. Then we have some more Joy-Con business, and then we're going to make our way into the final showcase here. And look at all these PlayStation 5 consoles. My goodness. Now, the PlayStation 5, e real easy to get now, finally, after, um, what, two years? Actually, it's been a few months that it's been actually uh, quite easy to purchase. But as you can see here at the book off, they're just loaded with them for uh, secondhand units. And the pricing on some of these, I don't really fully understand. I mean, most of them were coming in at 46,800 yen. But then we have one here, the one in the middle, coming in at 33,619 yen. And as far as I can tell, it includes the box, all the accessories. So I'm not sure what the what the price difference is or what they're what's behind the prices there but here we have a variety of xbox ones we have the original the 1s and the 1x and even a 360. now the 1s or the 1x that's what i have but next to the 1s the 1s definitely definitely looks awesome what else do we have here we have some controllers we got a connect there and a few playstation move controllers and it looks like a headset there but now we're gonna make our way down the main aisle and we're gonna start at the end of the aisle and it's going to be the old software the retro goodness so let's have a look here and as you can see we have famicom at the top super famicom n64 and this is mostly it's looking like nintendo there's uh gamecube Game Boy, and then in the basket now i put that sonic collection in there but i didn't actually buy it i decided not to buy it because at the end of the day i'm not going to play it and if i do play it, i'm going to be playing it on my genesis or my mega drive we're going to do it right well, there's actually no right or wrong uh, when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to how you want to play it, but you get the you know what I mean. There's no point to um, add more copies to the collection. But we have a Chrono Trigger here, 2,300 yen. That was actually a pretty clean copy. And then we have uh, the Legend of Mana there for 900 yen, 10% off. Looks like a little bit of damage somewhere. And what do we have here? Uh, Adventure Island for 5,400 yen. Which, if you really dig around, you can find it um, a little bit less. I think most of these titles you can find for a little bit less. But, you know, this is a high volume store. So this inventory is constantly moving. There is people that are buying it. A lot of the locals here. Uh, we have Mother 2 for 4,500 yen. And you know what? I'm kind of getting back into getting uh, Super Famicom games uh, complete in the box. But here we have Aladdin. I recently beat that. We have Kirby 3 here for 4,100 yen. That one looks pretty cool. We have some Yoshi's Island. And then we have Where's Waldo coming in at 3,600 yen. I wonder if this saw a North American release. I'm sure it did. But I've never... Um, I've known about this game, but I've never actually seen the North American one. If it if it exists, maybe I'm just making it up. But here's Cyber Knight 2. This one looks pretty cool, actually. Looks like a role-playing game. We got some Super Tetris 3. They had a number of Tetris games. And then we have Garo Densetsu Special for 1,800. It, it is discounted, so there is an issue there. And I'm not sure what this is. Maybe some Gundam type of game. Uh, but this is one that I've seen quite often. In fact, I think they had two copies here. And they also had Lady Stalker there. What else do we have here? We have Super R-Type. This is definitely a lot cleaner than the copy that I bought. But it is more expensive. Coming in at 4,300 yen. I think I paid about 2,600, 700 for mine. We got Super Mario RPG, 2,900 yen. I think that was the last major release on the Super Famicom, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have some, what is this, some kind of pachinko or some, some kind of game. And then we have Super Metroid. Now, this one is missing the manual, so you get 20% off. But 7,200 yen, you know, if it was complete, that's not too, too bad. We got some theme park action. I do like that cover. I've never actually played one of these games, but that is a long running series. And then we have this UFO business for 2,300 yen. Looks kind of strange, but we have uh, some uh, Akumajo Dracula Super Castlevania 4 for 1,800. Tales of Fantasia for the same price. And Zero Four something champ. 
and another copy of Super Castle 4, and that's not actually too bad of a price. And neither is this one, this X-Men business. I do like that game. Great game. And then we have some N64 titles. Um, I forget the name of this one, Sheet In or something like that. And then look at this, Ronald McDonald for the Famicom, 2,300 yen. And Rockman, the original one, for 3,600. So actually the selection here is not too bad. And that's going to be both for, you know, the Super Famicom and the Famicom, as you can see here. This is like some kind of horror game there. And then we have some Ninja Gaiden 2. And they also have Part 3 here. I think this one's Part 3, yep. 3,600 yen. I have that game. That game is awesome, too. And just, uh, it keeps going. It keeps going here. This is some Final Fantasy action there. They had quite a bit of Final Fantasy for the Famicom. As well as like a, a bundled uh, cart, which I'm going to pull out here. Final Fantasy 1 and 2, 2,300 yen. They also had another copy that had the box and the instructions and it was discounted and we will see that here in a sec we got turtles for the game boy there we got more mother for the famicom uh shin megami tensei 2 and some more turtles action 2700 and 1800 yen and then rockman 4 two copies coming in at the same price there so not too bad and then we have some goemon coming in at 1800 yen for the famicom and then this one is discounted, 20% off. It looks like there's some damage to the box. There's a few creases there. And then we have Ultima. I do like this cover. Definitely like that cover, but this one's going to be heavy on the Japanese. What else do we have? Now, look at this. We have Hello Kitty. Now, somebody mentioned in the comments that it's from the late 70s, and they weren't lying. Look at that date, 1976. My goodness. And then here in the loose cards, a lot of what you would expect to see. And... It's a good selection, you know, they have a great selection here. Nothing like super, super rare, but, you know, if you come out here, they do have some some cool things. We got, what, Banjo-Kazooie. Now, I did a double take on this, because look at that price, 220 yen. That's definitely uh, one of the low. That's, that's a pretty low price. Um, what else do we have here? We got some Pokemon action. Look at that Pokemon Stadium, I believe. And Custom Robo. We got some Kirby action. So not too bad there for the N64. Pokemon Snap. We got some Zelda and then Banjo-Kazooie 2 for 900 yen. Some Smash Bros. And then back to the Famicom games. Look at Tiny Toons, 1,500 yen. I definitely would like to try that out on the Famicom. And then what is this, Use Corporation? Not really sure what that was about. And then we got the Technos games here. They had quite a few of them in stock, 900 yen. What else do we have here? We got some championship bowling, 1,500 yen. And some of these games could be pretty good. But, you know, sometimes you gotta, you definitely gotta pick and choose, especially the, as you keep amassing more in the collection. What else do we have here? Some Koei action. Not really sure what that is. And then Star Fox Adventures, 480 yen. That doesn't seem like a bad price at all. I played that game way back when the GameCube was a uh, current generation. Biohazard, 480 yen. 480 yen for part four. So that's some good pricing. I usually like to judge a store by how they price their uh, Resident Evil um, games for the GameCube. And then when it's 500 yen, that's always a good sign. 900 yen for Luigi's Mansion. And not too bad of a selection here as well. Look at this, this puzzle collection. I had no idea this existed for the GameCube, 1,500 yen. And it does have some Game Boy Advance support. And then, uh, this is another game. I have no idea what this could be. Haven't seen this one before. And then we got some Chibi Robo for 900 yen. Not too bad of a price there. Haven't played that one. Maybe one day I'll get around to it. I believe the 3DS also has a, a Chibi Robo game. And then we got some Digimon, 1,500 yen. Don't know too much about this one. And what do we have? Wind Waker for 900 yen. That's not too bad of a price. And that, this is a great game. This one has definitely held up, especially on the on the visuals end. And the story. This was this was, I had a good time playing that one. What a, Metroid Prime, 1,500 yen. Now, personally, I'd rather get the one on the Switch because that one's gonna guarantee to have English, but for all you GameCube enthusiasts, you know, that's definitely a good price on the on that copy of Metroid Prime. We have some Pikmin there, and then we're just gonna continue on the way here. We got some more Super Famicom, 360, Saturn, Dreamcast, and PlayStation 1. So let's go ahead and see. 
what we find we'll start up at the top and this racing game this sequel i've been seeing more and more of it and it actually looks pretty cool look at the screenshot there i need to look this one up that one actually could be pretty good and then we have our dragon ball z shin butoden for 900 yen I actually haven't played these fighting games but you know back in the day i would always see these in the magazines and whatnot and especially when dragon ball z you know brought over to the states by uh pioneer you know it was getting big and i definitely wanted to try it out and then look part three here 3200 yen i actually got this one a few days ago in a loose cart at a hard off for 100 yen but you know if you want it complete that's the price you pay and what else do we have here we got some 360 and xbox one titles and we got the masterpiece the orange box coming in at 1500 yen and this edition does have full english language support i love the orange box that's such a one of the greatest collections to ever be uh released but as you can see here not too bad of a selection there on the on the old uh, super fami what do we got? Legend of Mana 3 for 1,800 yen. I have this on the Switch. I need to get around to playing it. I wonder how long that game is. You know, if it's around 30 hours, that would be that would be perfecto. What? And this is a uh, another copy of this game that we saw earlier. And this one here, Mario and Wario. Now, I recently bought a Nintendo, uh, the Super Nintendo Famicom mouse. So, I'm kind of thinking about picking this one up. I didn't pick it up on this occasion, but you know, it's a, it's a fairly common game. I definitely want to get Battle Clash. Then we have some Muscle Bomber there. We got Chrono Trigger. This one's 20% off. What else do we have? Super Mario Bros. 4, Super Mario World. I definitely want to get that too, complete. And then we have this Pac-Man business. Look at this, 1,800 yen. And this one actually looks pretty good. I need to look it up. But definitely would like to try that one out. And then here we have the combo cart of Final Fantasy 1 and 2. And look at the programmer, Nasir Gabelli. Now, I don't think that's uh, Japanese, so that's kind of interesting to see. I didn't know that. We got F-Zero X for 2,900 yen. And a lot of first party stuff, uh, goodness there for the N64. Here we have a small selection of uh, 360 titles. Ridge Racer 6 for 1,100 yen. That's a great racing game on the old 360. What else do we have? Biohazard 5 for 480 yen. And then we have Virtual On. Look at this. 2,300 yen. And then the fourth is the Force. Have no idea what that means, but I'm sure if you play the game, you'll be uh, up to speed with that. What else do we have here? We have some Sega Saturn. Look at this oddity. Well, not really strange, but we have uh, it's a Vampire Savior with the, the instruction manual for um, Samurai Showdown 4, but according to the label that is the vampire savior a uh, game so that's kind of cool that they just kind of <laughs> put, put whatever manual they could find in there and then we have some konami action here or mahjong some kind of some kind of game what else do we have we got tetris s i've seen this one many times but have never given it uh, much attention i wonder if it has good music we have grandia 2 we have Cool Borders, uh, Burn. I believe, was this Rippin' Riders in the States? Because I used to have Rippin' Riders and uh, a little bit forgettable, that one for me at least. And then we got what, uh, some more kind of role-playing game. I thought it was Climax Landers, but it's not. And then we have Sonic Adventure, 480 yen. That's not too bad of a price. That's a great price, actually. And we have some Virtual Fighter 3 for 900 yen. I love that fighting game. And the Dreamcast, freaking awesome. And then we have R-Type Delta, 4,100 yen. That's a pretty good price as well. It's a great uh, shooter. Still have to beat it. Uh, I'm not the best at shooters, but I do love my shooters. We have Armored Core. So a decent selection here for the, for the PlayStation 1. This is just kind of some uh, music CD just kind of <laughs> mixed in with the PS1 stuff. What else do we have here? Let's uh, keep, the, keep it going here. We got Ghost in the Shell, 1,500 yen. And I'm kind of surprised that one is uh, sealed like that. We got Sukoden 2. And what else do we have? I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, we got Clock Tower 2. Now, that, that one does have uh, English uh, voice acting. We got a Crash Party type of game, I believe. Haven't played that one before. Although I do, I would like to, uh, I'm not really sure what that is, but I would like to get the, the original Crash Bandicoot. 
I only played it briefly way back in the day, but here we have Dynasty Warriors 2, 4,100 yen with the Obi card and a little bit of a discount there. What else do we have? Dino Crisis 2, 480 yen. This one was actually not too bad. I never completed it, but I kind of was uh, feeling it a little bit more than the original. And then we have Exevious here. Here, that one's a pretty good one. And then we have Jay's Racing, 480 yen. I do like these PlayStation 1 racing games, and they had two copies of that. Uh, what else do we have here? Another uh, type of board uh, digital game, board game digital. What else do we have? Some uh, simulation game for uh, Combinis, convenience stores. And then Biohazard Director's Cup, 480 yen. That's a good price. Definitely uh, a good one there. And then we have uh, the DualShock version for the same price. Not bad at all. And then we have this uh, Sea-Doo jet ski type of racing game. I've seen that one before, but I haven't played it. And then we have another rhythm and dance game. I haven't seen this one before. Maybe I have, but just completely forgot about it. And they had a number of Rockman games here. Look at that. Mega Man Legends 2. We got the racing game. What else do we have? Rockman 8 for 900 yen. And then a lot of the, uh, the re, uh, remasters, I guess is what you would call this. They had almost all of them. And look at this. Riven. Look at how many... Ca two double cases? My goodness, how many discs is that, is that game? That's crazy, man. And then we have uh, PSP action here. You know what? I'm kind of getting into... I don't know why, but I'm kind of wanting to collect a few of the select UMD uh, movies. And I'm slowly building up the collection. I have Alien and then I have The Clone Wars. Star Wars The Clone Wars. And they're fairly inexpensive, too. I want to get Hellboy as well. The the Del Toro film. Uh, that, that was an awesome movie. It is an awesome movie. And then here we have a lot of these uh, visual novel things. Uh, for the PSP, it had so many of them. I don't know much about them, but... I mean, look at this stuff. I wonder if this stuff actually sells. Every now and then, I guess I do see uh, a few people picking them up. And I bet you a lot of those are complete. I always see these vitamin uh, X and Z boys. But anyhow, we got some PlayStation 2. And then we're going to make our way into the PlayStation 3. But the PlayStation 2, look at that. A number of uh, visual novel games as well. And a lot of them seem to be complete. So if you're collecting that stuff, uh, this is a good place to come. But what do we have? Uh, KOF Maximum Impact, 1,500 yen. I haven't played that uh, fighting game. And uh, I do love my SNK fighters. I should uh, definitely pick that up at some time. But we have some PlayStation 3 stuff. And I think their bread and butter is going to be, you know, PlayStation 5. Look at this. PlayStation, or Street Fighter 6, 6,300 yen. That's fairly a fairly new release. And they already have a few uh, used copies, which, you know, is to be expected. They have Elden Ring there. And that's going to come in at 6,300 yen. That might be like the base price for PlayStation 5 uh, pricing. But, you know, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and the Switch, that's going to be like their main bread and butter. The retro section is fairly small, but this one was really tempting. 1,800 yen Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Plus. I definitely want to pick this up for the Vita. I blew my budget on other games, but that's definitely on the, on the hit list. Not a priority, but this is what I'm talking about. Look at all this PlayStation 4 goodness. And this is the stuff that's really moving. They got Elden Ring, 4500 so less expensive naturally than the PS5. We got Sonic Frontiers, not too bad of a price there, 3300 yen. And then opposite of that, we got our Nintendo Switch titles. With, with at the top there, we have a few adult-rated uh, PS4 games. Uh, and then we have our new releases. Let's take a look here. We got uh, Ray's Arcade Chronology. Now, this one has all three games. I think the North American release just has two. So that's definitely a little bit of a bonus there. And then we have Tears of the Kingdom, 6,528 yen. A few, uh, I, I think, I'm not sure if that's like the new price or used price. I think, I think those were new. And this is like the, the used section, the proper used section. What do we have here? You know, I do, I do spend a lot of money on the Switch, although it's been a while since I got a Switch game. 
But here we have the Super Mario 3D Collection, 4,800 yen. Now that one does have full English. We have Klonoa, the collection with one and two, 2,700 yen. I wonder if this one had a North American release. I know it got a release in Europe because I've seen one with the Peggy rating. Uh, the Peggy rating, but I haven't seen one for the North American market. Of course, I haven't really looked. And then we have Clockwork Aquario for 2,900 yen. This is one that I've been thinking about. I think this one has one holds like a record for the longest time uh, in uh, development limbo, and they finally finished it. And it's also available on the PlayStation 4. And then we have Link's Awakening. Uh, I believe this is Link's Awakening, the remake. And this is another one that I would love to try. We got Shredder's Revenge. I have this, and it's still sealed. I need to do an unboxing on that bad boy. And hopefully it will have English, English language support. And I'm sure it'll have a few updates. What else do we have here? We got uh, Rockman uh, Zero there. What else do we have? Oh, now making our way into the 3DS section, we have Epic Mickey, 1,500 yen. This one I'm really curious about because, you know, I do love the stereoscopic uh, 3D effect and then you mix that with 2D and it's just awesome. We got Fire Emblem Echoes, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4, Apocalypse, and then our DS section. And here we're just kind of cruising. We're just kind of seeing, you know, the full extent of what this uh, gaming aisle has to offer. But we got uh, Wii U and Wii titles. There was a few Wii games that I was interested in, but I decided not to purchase any at this uh, during this occasion, during this game hunt. Because I'm not going to be getting to my Wii gaming uh, anytime soon. But we have a Tech and Tag Tournament, the Wii U edition. That has some cool additions. I, um, I, ha I haven't actually played it, but I have seen a couple videos. We got Mario Kart 8 for 480 yen. That's just like, uh, that's peanuts. We got Biohazard Revelations. I had that for the Wii U. We got the 20th uh, anniversary. 720 yen. But it, I think it might be missing something. And, you know, and it was discounted on top of that. At a hard off near me, they have that for like twice as much. Almost three times as much. But here we have a number of loose uh, handheld games. And they had everything. They had everything but like the Neo Geo Pocket. But they had Wonder Swan. They had PlayStation Vita. Game Boy. DS. 3DS. Um, I think those, the loose Switch games were in a different section though. But yeah, pretty pretty cool, uh, pretty cool shop. This is actually the second time that I visited this place, and I want to say that, you know, the inventory has held up uh, more or less. But definitely a cool place if you if you're looking for uh, some filler and other stuff. And the display case, that stuff's always constantly changing. But anyhow, that's gonna be it for this episode. So definitely more content to come, and I'll catch you soon. Ciao.